With that, we got confirmation from Allison Bollinger. Uh, Houston flight is go uh, for docking. So we'll hold at the waypoint two. Once we get confirmation of a good hold, don't expect uh, to be holding there for very long before uh, we push in for docking. That uh, waypoint two arrival is expected in about 15 seconds. We're sitting at about uh, 23 meters. Again, that hold is at 20, and we're slowing down our range uh, rate to about 0.15 meters per second and going down. Station Houston on two, the Dragon hold we performed at uh, waypoint two was very brief, so Dragon is now resuming approach and go for docking. You can go ahead and monitor for steps five and six in one decimal one zero two, Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Copy, a go for docking after a short hold and uh, we'll go on steps five and six. Good copy. And as anticipated, the hold at the 20 meter waypoint two point was very brief. The uh, Dragon CRS 25 vehicle pressing in for docking. Approach to docking port. Pry range is decreasing. And range is 14 meters. Houston copies concurs. Good report. Good report from the crew. That approach from the waypoint to holding point is looking good. We're pressing in towards a contact and capture. Now we are temporarily losing that video from the International Space Station. We should regain it shortly, but we do still have good data flowing in from the Dragon vehicle. Uh, we're about 10 meters away. You're getting a live view of the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Flight Director Allison Bowling are leading the teams here, monitoring Dragon's approach. Jessica Watkins and Bob Hines aboard the International Space Station also monitoring and then of course working hand in hand with the SpaceX flight control team out in Hawthorne, California. Nine meters in closing. Houston on two, primary range is decreasing, range is five meters, vehicle is centered, largest excursion observed is one degree. Houston copies, good report.
All right, four meters in closing. Everything continues to look good. Now, we don't have views from the International Space Station, but with the data that we're receiving and the reports from the, cr from the crew, we are proceeding towards a contact uh, here shortly. Three meters in closing. Stop. Copy, Chip. Crew hands off point. One meter. One meter in closing. And we're getting views right at the last second. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. 10:21 a.m. Soft capture complete. 10:21 a.m. Central Time. 11:21 a.m. Eastern. 267 statute miles. Audible laughter from here in uh, Mission Control as uh, we do lose views right at the right after a confirmed capture. We did get those views though to see it actually go in, which was fantastic. But we do have a confirmed uh, soft capture at 10.21 a.m. Central Time. The International Space Station and Dragon spacecraft were over the South Atlantic Ocean, 267 statute miles. Houston, ring retraction in progress. So that soft capture ring, again, we have a confirmed soft capture. That ring is retracting. It's pulling the Dragon in closer uh, to the international docking adapter. That white structure you see, that's at the very tip of the International Space Station. Uh, that black structure being the pressurized mating adapter, we're looking at the very forward end of the International Space Station from one of the cameras uh, that are off on the uh, Japanese exposed facility. We did have that soft capture at 10.21 a.m. Central Time. We're pulling in using that soft capture ring. Uh, we'll continue to provide coverage until we get past a hard mate uh, with the International Space Station. After that soft capture ring is fully retracted, pulling that uh, dragon in for a nice tight seal, uh, there's 12 hooks that will actually uh, hard mate and hard dock uh, the vehicle to the International Space Station. Uh, they are uh, latched in gangs of uh, uh, two gangs of six, so six at a time. Uh, and then we'll have a hard dock with the International Space Station. But we did have that soft capture, 1021, uh, pulling in with the soft capture ring. Uh, and we're standing by for a good uh, soft capture ring retraction and a good hard dock. We'll continue to provide coverage until then. On two, we see undocking complete sensors one and two off OFF and have started the stopwatch. 
we concur in our status is that ring retraction is now complete, so docking sequence is holding for MCS reconfiguration. We're working that from the ground. And you heard that uh, soft capture ring has fully retracted, meaning the soft capture, capture ring did a, its job of pulling the spacecraft in um, to, for a nice seal with the international docking adapter on the forward end of the International Space Station. There is a uh, very fine-tuned, very calculated um, attitude control maneuvers that the uh, uh, attitude control officer Yeah, there we go. The International Space Station attitude control uh, has to be configured prior to those hooks driving to be on control moment gyros only. Uh, ADCO, the ADCO officer that you see at the bottom of your screen, uh, has just confirmed that the space station itself is using gyros only to hold the attitude in place, meaning we're in a good configuration from the space station side to proceed with um, driving those hooks for a hard mate. And uh, Flight Director Allison Bollinger just gave that go to the Mission Director. Houston, MCS is configured. We're proceeding with hook driving. Copy, this is CCMG only. Capcom Michael M. Ellsworth. Your spot watch is no longer required. Copy all. Capcom Michael Ellsworth uh, reporting to the crew uh, that that sequence is underway. Jessica Watkins uh, confirming from the International Space Station. Again, she's working with Bob Hines, but both of them monitoring uh, Dragon's approach and watching the sequence unfold. Uh, we are proceeding towards driving those hooks.